Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about seed starting squash, zucchini, and cucumbers. The timing. How long do you want these growing indoors? When do you want to get them out into the earth? We're going to talk about container size. All these kind of tips to really help you have healthy transplants. All right, first thing is a test. How old do you think these plants are? We have zucchini back here, squash, nope, cucumbers, zucchini, cucumbers, zucchini, and cucumbers right in here. These are different size cells. We'll be talking about that. You want a nice root system. But how old do you think these guys are? Let me bring this one up. This is in the larger cell. That's what I recommend. Again, zucchini, the cucumbers. These are only 17 days old from putting the actual seed in the soil. Takes about, in a house at 65 degrees, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, only takes about five to seven days for these to germinate. So this isn't really even, you know, 12 days of growth because we had to let them germinate. But once they germinate, they grow extremely quickly. This is a perfect transplant. It's beautiful. What you're looking for for a transplant is a set, two sets of true leaves. This, these are the uh, cotyledons. They're the first leaves that come out. This is a true leaf. This is a set right there. And then the next set is forming. So in about a week from now, I would want these to go outside. That would include a period of acclimating them to the outdoors for about a week. It's really important to understand while these are growing under grow lights, if you put these straight into the garden and the sun hits them, it's good to kill them. You need about a week's time of slowly taking them outside to let them toughen up to the UV rays of the sun, the wind, and the cold. So let me simplify this. I'll be throwing some stuff up on the screen so that you know this all makes sense to you. This plant right here it's a zucchini plant. It's 17 days old from putting the seed in the ground. So from dropping the seed in a house at 65 degrees or warmer, you only want these inside for about four weeks. You don't want them to be flowering. You don't want them to get massive. You just really want something like this. From germination, some houses it may take longer to germinate. From germination, maybe three weeks of growth, upper growth. That's going to be the perfect size transplant. This little cucumber here is almost ready. True leaf right there. Another set of true leaves coming out. You know, two weeks. This is going to look good to go out into the garden. When do you want these to go into the garden? They're definitely not frost tolerant. They don't like cold temperatures. They don't like 40 degree nights. They don't like 50 degree nights. You really have to be getting into the position where the nights are 50 and 60 degrees. The day temperatures are in the 70s. The soil is warm, that top six inches is a good 60, 70 degrees. You don't need a thermometer to go and check the soil. You can just kind of look at the night temperatures. When the night temperatures are in the upper 50s, 60s, the days are getting into the 70s, you're getting warm rains. It's been about two weeks, that soil has warmed up. These absolutely have to go into warm soil. Sure, you can put them out earlier and you can protect them from frost, but because the soil is cold, they're just going to sit there. These are going to take off when the roots feel warm, the roots get massive, they establish, and then you get all this green growth. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. Our last frost date is usually May 15th. So, and we don't typically get frost in May. We might, if I have to protect these plants one time for a freak night of cold, that's okay. But generally speaking, in May, things are going to start to warm up. So I'm going with May 15th last frost date. I'm going to count back four or five weeks from that date. I'm going to start these around the middle of April. I only really want that three, four weeks of upper growth. You know, you can get by with five weeks, but when you're getting into six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks of growing in these containers, the roots get constrained, the plants are going to flower, and you're going to have plants that take longer to thrive and take off. Sure, they'll survive, but you're going to have bonsai plants because they're going to move from what you see here, growing roots, growing greens, growing leaves to wanting to flower and fruit. And you just, you just don't want that. These only need, I'm going to stress again, really about four weeks of growth inside before you get them outdoors. Now I like starting them in these larger cells. I sell these all at my seed shop. You can use yogurt cups, half water bottles, these smaller red solo cups, just poke holes in the bottom. You don't want to have to pot up your cucumber and zucchini plants. So these are the standard cells that you see most places and they're working. You know, the plants aren't much larger. In fact, the cucumbers are larger than 
the cucumbers in these large cells, the zucchini here are a little bit bigger. They're going to take off and they're going to look good for that first two or three weeks, no matter what size cell that you put them in. And these would make fine transplants. You know, you pop them out and you would just get them into the ground. Remember that acclimation period of seven days so they don't burn from the sun. These are four cells, more room in there. Everything looks about the same to, you know, to start. There is some oddities with some of the leaves. I don't know why that happened, but the next set of leaves look perfectly fine, so that's not something that you really need to worry about. It's more so when I get to that fourth week or fifth week that I'm going to wish I had them in these larger cells. One of the problems with transplants is, you know, people grow in here and it looks like they work, you know, and I've done it before. When this plant gets really big, like something like this, it has this tiny root system. You put this outside, it has only a small root system, this massive green growth. As Soon as the sun hits it, the plants transpire, they lose water, the roots dry out, the plants struggle. So if you're using the smaller cells, make sure you're watering these plants, especially on sunny days at least every other day, if not every day, because even if your whole garden is soaked, right now for that first week, first two weeks, they're only getting water from this small area. After about two weeks, the roots have spread out and the plant is better off, you know, managing with periods of basically not being watered in between. So that's part of the strategy for using these larger containers or using a solo cup. You're gonna get a bigger root system. It's gonna allow for better growth up top, but when you get it into the ground, there's more roots and the plants are going to thank you for that. We'll get to planting at the end of the video, but it's, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just filling the cells with the seed starting mix. One seed across here, cucumber or zucchini, press it in quarter of an inch to a half an inch deep and you're good to go. But I'll show you how to do that. I want to pop out the root systems now of the different size containers. There might not be a much difference now, but I want to explain that to you a little bit more because people are always trying to grow great green growth, but they forget about the root system. A massive tomato, for example, and this little root system is just not a good combination. We have the cucumbers in the front, zucchini in the back, and this is the standard six cell. These are the four cells and the large six cells. I sell these at my seed shop again. Now, it's really important to remember, and I want to stress again, these plants, from putting the seed in the starting mix, they're only 17 days old. So the first cucumber, you can see that the root systems are filling up that little space pretty quickly. A little more room here in the four cell, and then there's a lot more room in the six cell. That's pretty straightforward, pretty obvious. Again, if you can plant in something this size, you can get these, you know, at any grocery store, just poke holes in the bottom it's going to pay dividends going forward. It's only been 17 days. So there's a lot of mix in here, a lot of starting mix for the roots to get into. Looking at the squash, you can see the same pattern, you know, and there's more room in the larger one. Why this is important, and I'm going to stress it again, because it's really important that people don't just think about the upper green growth. You want a nice massive root system but you don't want everything coiling down at the bottom. Like these are actually starting to coil a little bit already. When they start to coil, it becomes a little bit of a problem. You can loosen them up. You can see how the roots want to start spreading out. You would gently loosen them, get them into the ground. But buy yourself some time because you're only going for about four weeks, maybe five weeks worth of time from putting the seed in the soil to getting these out into the ground. And we'll just take one more quick look. A nice healthy root system is really going to help you get a jump on the season. And that's the whole reason that we're doing this, is that we're starting these indoors when they wouldn't otherwise start outside because the soil's too car cold. And we're trying to get, you know, four or five weeks worth of time saved by starting them inside. If you're putting them out with large plants, tiny root balls into cold soil, you're not really helping yourself out. In fact, I highly recommend not overdoing it with your cucumbers and your squash. Get a couple transplants out. When you put them into the ground in the middle of May, beginning of June, also drop some seeds. These are really good growers if you direct sow them because getting them into the warm soil really accelerates the growth. The root systems don't even stay contained like this. They spread out everywhere and you get really fast upper canopy growth. In fact, the plants that you start at seed compared to when you put the transplants in at the same time, sometimes even catch up to your transplants if you put them out too soon when the soil is cold. So timing is everything. 
please subscribe and follow me. I've already done a whole series for January on seed starting. How do you set up the starting mix, water, fertilize, all your seed starts if you want to check that out. At minimum, I recommend you know a cell about this size. Again, I sell these at my seed shop for your squash and cucumber plants. If it's you know, a perfect world, you have space under your grow lights, the larger container like this for sure. You can buy the cups. I just want to stress the importance, and I'm going to keep doing that because it's really important to have a nice base for your squash, cucumber plants, zucchini plants to really grow into. You want the really nice root systems. It's really straightforward. Squash, zucchini, pumpkins, melons, I would just do one seed, press them down about a half an inch. These are large seeds. Cucumbers I do two in case one doesn't germinate. I'm going to thin these down to one plant and quarter inch to half an inch deep. And these are going to germinate, remember, in that 65 degree Fahrenheit temperature and warmer in five to seven days. They germinate really quickly. And don't forget all this growth, 17 days from putting the seed in the ground. Once the seeds are planted, you want to put them into a flat, water from the bottom, really get these, you know, saturated. When the seed starting mix top gets to a light brown, it's actually going to start changing, looking something like this. After it's dry for about a day or two, bottom water again. You always want to give your starting mix a chance to dry a bit. They always dry from the top down. You don't want to keep them soaking wet 24-7. It does impact the roots, some of the oxygen in the roots and all that kind of stuff. But give them, you know, a period to dry out. Again, timing wise, you put the seed in. 17 days later, it looks like something like this. After, I don't know, three weeks, three and a half weeks, they have their second sets of true leaves. I would start acclimating these to the outdoors, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes the first day, build up over a week's period. That's a good four or five weeks. And I'm not, you don't have to be exact, you know, four or five weeks, they're acclimated. They would go into that warm soil and you're going to have beautiful transplants taking hold in your garden. Final point for beating a dead horse, do not let these grow six, eight, ten weeks in containers. You can keep them alive, you can give them fertilizer, they're going to look good, but they're going to be stressed plants and you're just not going to do as well as the plan that I just laid out for you. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Please subscribe, I'll show you how I transplant these out into the garden. I'll show you how I care for them over the 2024 season. Thanks so much for watching.